Let's talk about John. John is a fictitious or perhaps real patient of mine who had a cholesterol of nearly 1,000. Yes, you heard that correctly, nearly 1,000. I get a patient coming to see me in clinic. I was just sent a note from the primary physician saying, hey, this guy has cholesterol problems. I want you to treat him. So I'm talking to the patient. He's kind of clueless as to why he's there. And he's like, you know, I don't really know why I'm here. My doctor just told me I need to see you. I start looking through his stuff and his cholesterol, total cholesterol was like 998, literally two points away from 1,000. His LDL, which is his bad cholesterol, was around 600. His triglycerides were also like five, 600, something, you know, extremely high like that. And his HDL was, was around 80. Um, so this is John. This is John who has a genetic disorder called what? familial hypercholesterolemia. So this is a genetic disorder. Most of these uh, patients, it happens in about one in 500 people. Um, it is autosomal dominant. And um, these people have extremely high cholesterols ever since they're about eight, nine, 10 years old and into their 20s. They usually have their first heart attack in their 20s or early 30s. Um, a lot of them even have open heart surgery by the time they're like 26, 28, maybe 30. I have a lot of these patients. Um, none as high as John, though. John had the highest cholesterol I've ever seen in my life. Most of the time, their cholesterol is in the 300 plus range. Um, 300 to 500 is usually what they are. But, but this gentleman, John, wow, his, his cholesterol was just incredible. It was 998. Um, so there's a lot of things we have to do. Number one, we got to get him on the highest uh, possible dose of a statin that he can tolerate. Um, you got to put them on 80 of Lipitor, 40 of Crestor, preferably Crestor because it's the strongest. You got to put them on Zetia. You got to add something like Repatha as well. If his triglycerides are high, you probably need to be on metformin. He ha you have to do all the lifestyle interventions that you can. If he's extremely overweight, get him to lose weight. Um, treat his metabolic, uh, other metabolic disorders. Um, and then you can put him on Vasipa. Um, you can put him on. Uh, a few other things. There's a lot of different options now. It's not just statins. So you got to get these people, especially John with a 998, you got to get them as low as possible. Now, a general cardiologist uh, probably should send this guy to a lipid specialist. Um, this is not, especially with these high numbers, like 900, almost a thousand. This is something that needs to be treated by someone who really knows what they're doing and sees this a lot and like a higher, um, tertiary care institute. Um, I have seen patients like this, for example, John, in more rural areas where the nearest tertiary institute is like a four-hour drive. So we've started him on medications to see what will happen. We'll recheck him in about two months or so. And if we're not making any kind of progress whatsoever, obviously he's going to a higher level of care. Um, but these are usually the worst kinds of cholesterol. Now, if you have just regular high cholesterol, you know, hyperlipidemia or, or hypercholesterolemia, your cholesterol is like 240, 260, that's fine. Almost anyone can treat you. Even your primary doctor uh, can treat you. Statins at a moderate to high dose will probably get that down into the 110 to 140 range or, or whatever. Um, but definitely when you're talking into the 500 plus range, you definitely got to see a cardiologist and see someone who knows a little bit more uh, about this. So that's the story of John. If you want more videos like this, here they are.